Hey, my name is Paul. I'm a producer here at uh, LucasArts, and... And I'm Shara, and I'm an executive producer here at LucasArts, and we are here to introduce you to Fracture. We're going to um, show you some gameplay, and it takes place in the San Francisco area. Um, the, the mission is called the Dropship Mission. And it really shows off the, the TD. It's an early mission in the game, and it's really cool. And you get to see a lot of what this game's about. Yeah, so uh, we really hope you like it, and we're going to get started right now. So here you go. Hey, so here we are, that's Jet. He's just had a terrible um, dropship crash, possibly the only survivor, and he's um, dropped into this uh, area early in the game. It's basically set in San Francisco, 150 years in the future. He played Jet, he's the coolest character in the game because he's the only guy in the whole game with an entrencher. It's really cool, it lets you change the ground around you, the environment on the fly. So you saw up there when Chris Norris, who is our driver today, um, he was just looking at the sky. There's a whole bunch of AA guns that are firing, and so Jet's gonna have a really hard time getting in reinforcements of any kind because of those AA guns. So his job is to figure out a way to get rid of them. Ooh, that was a nice little frame rate hitch. We do want to uh, get that fixed. Don't worry, we definitely will. Uh, but anyway, so Jet's gonna try to roll in here and figure out how to take down these AA guns. Here's this um, bunker. You can see there's no doors. There's no way to get in other than using TD. So it's it's just a, a quick example of how we actually use this in the game. So uh, yeah, what do you this, think? What's going to happen? So yeah, that's a good question. How's he going to get in there? He's got to use his entrencher, which is his um, his uh, Little device. Little tool of mayhem. Yeah, that lets him raise and lower the ground using the terrain deformation technology that we've got in the game. I like how it says press B to punch on there, but like Norris just ignores that and just like shoots him in the face. Good job. Yeah, Good job. that's helpful. Yeah. Thank you. So that's, a, that's an example of one of the enemy characters, one of two you'll see in this level. You know, this is an early mission in the game, so you're gonna have more light kinds of guys. We're gonna see Dragoons. We love those, because they're just like, you know, basically fodder for you. And like, maybe you can show Jet like throwing a grenade from behind. You know how he does that over the shoulder routine? We like that. So Chris just threw a- it makes me feel very careless. Tectonic grenade there, which actually raises the ground and has a pretty deadly explosive charge. Um, so he's in a situation right here. These AA guns are, are taking down all the uh, Alliance dropships and, and aircraft and what have you. Um, he's got to figure out a way to get rid of that thing. And he's shooting at it, it's not doing anything. See so. that honeycomb stuff all around the top yeah. there? That's a shield. Um, you know, one thing you sort of grow to learn in the game is anytime there's a shield like that, it actually is very deadly in and of itself. It causes a lot of damage. So, uh, so we're going to see if we can use our terrain deformation to figure out some way to make the shield work to our advantage. Nicely done. Nicely done, Chris. Of course, you have done this 54 million times, so I don't want to give you too much credit for that little maneuver but it was nice. And, and so it just opens up some different strategies. Number one, it just looks awesome. It's just a badass weapon. But the other thing is like, we're gonna need to be a little more aggressive building that terrain so that you can actually get into that building. You're not gonna be able to do it without building terrain. Nice. This is early in the game, so we do want to uh, use a little bit of repetition every now and then so that people get the basic hang of things and, and it's not so much figuring out what the puzzle is, it's more trying to have tactical problem solving. Yeah, this level that, you, that we're in right now actually is the first part of the game you see after the tutorial, so. You know, this is an early mission in the game, so you're gonna have, uh, you know, we want to make sure that everybody can get in and sort of get comfortable with everything, especially the TD, and figure out the best ways to use it and how we're, we've integrated it into the game. So, you know, other guys uh, may be able to throw grenades and, and they can raise and lower the ground, but with hardly any precision. But you've got Jet, who, you know, is able to basically decide where and when all the time he wants to, he wants to move terrain. Maybe if Chris wants to get up on the roof, there's a pretty cool weapon up there. I mean, this is a totally pre-alpha build. There's a lot of work that the developers, they're in Day One Studios in Chicago. These guys are working like crazy right now. They're doing a ton of bug fixing and polishing and tuning, and a lot of stuff is still going in. So we'll just make fun of it a little bit here and there, but you know, there's a lot of work that's still going on. This is by no means the final product. So Chris just picked up a Bangalore rocket launcher, which is pretty awesome, as you can see. It shoots a rocket that has a pretty big uh, area effect when it lands and detonates. So what's your favorite weapon, Paul? I guess I'd have to say my favorite weapon right now is the torpedo launcher, and, and you can see some examples of it here in the game. So here we are, the ST4, Paul's uh, admitted favorite weapon. This is the torpedo launcher. 
As you can see, it's, it, it basically burrows under the ground, and then you can control when it detonates and basically just uh, you know wait for guys to line up and then just blow them up from, the, from underneath their feet, which is awesome. And I like all those boulders coming down the hill. Those are crushing, so if you hit them just right, those boulders will crush the guys, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool just to watch that uh, torpedo gun. And boulders be damned. So yeah, I like the scar that it leaves on the earth too. It's really beautiful. And that's kind of, some of that stuff is kind of work in progress too. Like that's not necessarily the final look. I think that Dan Hay, who's the art director and executive producer over there, he's, he's got some ideas on where that's gonna go in the future. Um, you know, there's all kinds of guys working on this stuff. Um, oh, here we go here. So, so luckily because Jet was able to take out those AA guns, we've got this drop ship that's gonna land here. It's good stuff. And the, the, these guys are actually going to drop off a crate of spike grenades that Jet's going to need to complete his objective here. You can actually throw a grenade that creates this big spike out of the ground, and you can use it to lift grates, as you can see. So he, he, here he's using these spike grenades in a different way. He basically jumped on top of it as yeah, it came out of Yeah, but he's totally getting his ass handed to him. You're yeah. way too exposed up there. Like, you, you, I don't know if you, he, he I'm, not, I'm not sure he picked a good place for that. No, not really. But he I guess did he get did. an achievement. Yeah, I guess he did after all. No, but it's just a cool example of, of a different way to sort of, you know, see the see the battleground and, and figure out ways to uh, really take get out the lay your of the enemies. land, yeah. figure out where all the hidden goodies are, that kind of stuff. Yeah, you you may not want to do that when there's like 30 guys. Imagine and, this in multiplayer. That's that's the crazy thing. Like these AIs. You know, they're they're cool and everything, but, um, you know, it's even more ridiculous in, in multiplayer. And I, you know, I don't want to overstate the obvious, but, you know, Chris is just, he's played the game a lot, so he's sort of just naturally raising and lowering the ground as he goes through. The thing about TD is it's just like it's integral to the game. I mean, as soon as you play it, you'll, you'll, you'll just start using it without even thinking about it. I mean, essentially, you know, TD is the new black. And it really does become sort of second nature, and it's it's just a really handy way to you know get cover for yourself or throw the guy that's trying to shoot you off balance. Yeah, okay. like why don't you try it with one of your friendlies just to not be mean or anything, but just to show like throw him up in the air. Yeah, see, you see how he sort of like uh, got launched a little bit further. It's cool because you can try some skeet shooting maneuvers. I'm sure they won't mind dying if you if you want to you know kill him for the sake of showing that. We don't. Encourage but you're too that, nice, but... aren't you? Yeah. Right, it's it's not uh, it's not game friendly. Okay, well, so let's um, you want to uh, use your leverage, use your spike grenade as leverage here. We like this. We like the the grates using spikes to open grates. We also like using spikes to crush people. Well, there you go. Nicely played, Chris. I'm surprised. Usually, you suck at this mission. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's just a quick example of uh, you know one one little slice of the game. Yeah, this mission goes on like quite a ways after this, but this is just a little tiny taster. There's a lot more to come, and tons more enemies, tons more weapons um, that you'll see in the game, and uh, different locations. Yeah. Uh, we've got a lot more uh, uh, puzzle types to show you, a different combat situation. So um, we really look forward to showing you that in in future episodes. And thanks a lot for watching. Yeah, thanks.